Hey guys, how's it going? This is Ken Juice. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can color using grading maps in Clips Digital Paint. And at the same time, I'm going to show you a few examples using these drawings uh, for the King of the Fighters. And so let's get into it. So first, I'm just going to turn everything to black and white. Uh, so you can just see like the values and things like that. So if you want to use the grading map, you go to layer and then new correction layer and grading map. And you can see you can change it. And at first it looks kind of like basic, like, oh, it's just a gradient. But it's a little more complex and you can do a lot more stuff with the grading maps. So let's say I choose this one. It doesn't matter. You can make your own. So let's say I once you have it there, you can double click this, you know, this side of, of the layer and you get the options so you can change it and things like that. So uh, I'm going to remove everything. See these little lines, you just drag them away. So the way it works, you see here, it's like a normal, you know, normal gradient. Like if the lighter parts, are this color and the darker it gets going this way so it's going to you know to go into black and say so this is uh, supposed to be the lightest part which is this color it's right here and then this part in the middle you see it's kind of like gray color you know it's like this colors so let's say in the middle I have something else and you get the color here you click it to change it and let's say I put it is red. So now you have kind of like a red uh, middle in the middle ground. Uh, like the grayish colors are now all red, and the you know the bright colors are yellow. You can see if I move this up, like you know you can see how the, the let's say this is the light, you know the lighter colors. The light is pretty much yellow, and then the mid colors are red, and the dark colors are uh, dark, going to black. Uh, but I can even change that, you know, instead of black, I can make it uh, dark green. So you see, you change it. So now that you have it like this, right, you, have, you chose the, the colors that you want. But let's say maybe you don't want those colors for everything. Maybe you just want it for the skin. You can go ahead and delete and use the eraser and delete everything else. Right? And then you see here, it's kind of creating a mask. See here, it's kind of creating a mask. Uh, so you can do it like that. You know, you use remove everything until only say the skin is, is done or you can just hit delete and delete everything and then when you draw you know it's gonna bring the color back so you can kind of have the color that you want you know let's say I, w I want the skin to be this color so you can just focus on you know building the values you can paint the whole the whole character black and white and then you go ahead and change the change the you know the gray colors, uh, the values changes so to the color that you want. And so, for example, here I have you know I selected the area, so only the face, you know, the only the skin is selected. So those are the colors, and you can go ahead and. You know, change it. Let's say, you know, I want this to be a little bit more red. See, so you can change the colors of the characters. This way is way easier if you just focus on the values and make it gray, you know, grayscale. Uh, you know, you see, oh, this is the lights coming this way. You don't worry about the color, and then you go ahead and, you know, Select the area that you want and then say, okay, this is going to be the skin color. And so you select the skin color and 
you know, you don't have to think too much. You say, okay, the 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 line is gonna be, let's say, blue. Let's say he's he's, he's uh, kind of there's a blue light around, right? So you do that. So you see there, um, like super easy to change. Uh, as long as you have the values, uh, it should work pretty well. Um, you know, and it changes then all the characters if you want. Like, you know, you have this character, you know, the light is kind of blue, or you can change it to whatever color. So that's like a better way, you know, you can just focus on, on the values and using the grading maps, uh, you know, paint the character. And I think it saves you a lot of time and you can customize it, like, you can edit it pretty quickly and you can get you know the same result as painting it uh, because you still choose the color that you want you know as long as you don't just choose two colors let's say like that like uh, that's like too basic of a gradient uh, you need to put a little bit in between like you know like you choose the colors like okay dark it's gonna be this color you know this little like in between, you know, so you choose the colors that you want, and then when you put combine it with the values, uh, you know, you, you're gonna see that it's gonna give you a really good result. So that's pretty much it, and that's gonna be it for the video. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye.